Why do they hate us? Sorry, that was my Shaw impersonation, complete with Swedish accent. You might remember the scene in Prometheus when David wakes up the engineer from hypersleep. David utters a few words in his language, and the engineer proceeds to rip David's head clean off. Well, not clean, there's a bit of spine still attached, and it's pretty messy. Anyway, the engineer proceeds to kill everyone on the Prometheus team, except for Shaw, who escapes. This scene is shocking because you expect a more advanced civilization to act peacefully, especially during that sensitive first encounter. But nope, he just starts beating everyone to a pulp. He appears to be disinterested in the reason for their presence and instantly took action to eliminate them as an obstacle for what he was about to do, which was to either destroy or invade Earth. Judging by this, the engineers would appear to have created life on our planet for a self-serving reason and not out of benevolence. One could easily theorize that they created life on our planet to use humans as lab rats or slaves or both. The motive of the engineers did not appear to be to create future friends or allies. This could have been an isolated incident, not reflective of the values of the larger engineer population, but until we see otherwise, caution against engineers would be well advised. During the Crossing prologue video, David explains that he learned of the engineer ways. Following this, we then see David approach the engineer city and he proceeds to drop bombs like a lyrical assassin. Just kidding, these are actual black mutagen bombs that destroy the engineers in that particular city. Many of us speculated as to why David felt the need to destroy the engineers, and many wondered what he might have learned about their culture to bring about such a reaction. During a podcast with Empire Magazine, Ridley Scott explained the motives behind the engineer race and why David dropped those bombs. According to Scott, the engineers periodically visit the planets they've seeded and occasionally will wipe the slate clean if they discover their offspring have lost their way. Much like the stories in the Bible when God grew tired of mankind, the engineers would eradicate entire generations of species if they proved to be a disappointment. Kind of like if you have a ginger kid. Ridley Scott then added the following. If the planet went wrong, the engineers would wipe it clean, but that could take 500 years. When they revisit, because different visitors would come back and see we're not doing so well, they would look at these human beings that are jerks, that are killing the planet, killing themselves, can't settle down, they're like a bunch of children, we should wipe it clean, is what Ridley Scott said. Following on, Ridley explains that David has no respect for engineers or humanity and actually has developed a hatred of their species collectively. He said he hates them, he has no respect for engineers and no respect for human beings. But is that all there is to it? There are many other theories. One alternative facts theory is that there are rival factions of engineers, ones who create and others who destroy. This actually makes a lot of sense. We can't assume that all the engineers would be united towards one goal. Like humans, they probably have different tribes or nations with differing goals. Maybe some even have an alliance with the predators. It's very possible that while one faction is attempting to seed life, the other enemy faction is trying to undo their work by destroying the planets they've seeded. So we may encounter engineers that don't want to body slam humans in future movies. Cute, cuddly engineers. Another theory is that the engineers are engaged in a weapons development project and humans are lab rats. Now that the human civilization has apparently peaked, it's time to drop the black mutagen on the entire planet or xenomorph eggs so the predators can hunt. Basically a five-star country club for predators, courtesy of the engineers. Become a gold member and get a second planet free. But if the predators don't exist in this universe, I guess the engineers are simply testing their bioweapons. One can't help but think neomorph spores would be much more efficient than the xenomorph eggs, which take longer. The other theory mentioned is that the engineers were breeding humans to be used as slaves in the future. Maybe the Woken engineer was on his way to invade rather than destroy the human race. Once the civilization has peaked, the engineers arrive on the planet like gods and begin the enslavement process, whether it's to gather minerals or build ships and weapons. Anyway, those are my theories, but I'd love to hear more from you. What do you think? Why did the engineers apparently hate the humans? Could it be Rosie O'Donnell? Please let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Make sure you click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Also, please check out my other videos. I'll see you later.